Okay, I'm back. Oh, hi, Pyropus. Good to see you. I think Adam is watching as well on YouTube. Um, let's see here. I'm going to log in and change the stream names here. Change the dashboard on, on Twitch as well. Okay, we're up. Uh, let's see here. We got one mission. I think this is the chief of police again. I need you to break into my own HQ. I'll explain why. I've discovered evidence that Selena Delgado's post-mortem was altered after Katie Collins was arrested. What I don't know is why. Are my men covering for one of their own, or just changing the facts to fit the easiest suspect to convict? To convict. Bah. If you can get to the coroner's computer in our HQ, you might be able to find an autosave of the original somewhere on there. If we can see what the difference is, it might confirm whether this is corruptness or just laziness. Can't you, the police chief, the actual police, get this thing from the police? Ask my predecessor. <laughs> you can't. He was shot six times in the chest shortly after referring one of his officers to Eternal Affairs for document forgery. Oh, who's to say that was even related? the police chief of actual police, as in me. Uh, we're breaking into the police station. You didn't miss anything, Pyropus. I think this is the same mission we had last time, where we're breaking into the police station to find, um... I believe we're looking for, um, information on the autopsy. So we're in good shape here. I can't tie it to both lights, can I? Alright. 
But he can't see me through the door. Power left to use the prank spasm. All right. Batteries over there. This guy's not looking my way. The sound detector's not connected to anything. Maybe if I connect it to this door, it'll shut the door. Okay, so the enforcer didn't see me that way. like I can... Okay, I can shock him. There we go. I have to get over there to take the stairwell down to the morgue. Oh! I didn't even think of that. Got him patrolling. Sneaky, sneaky. There we go. Now what? I need to get to the green switch there.
I may be just a little bit stuck here. All right. Oh, that's right, I can't knock out the enforcers with the door. That was risky. All right. Yeah, that's what I figured. He hears the door. He hears the chime from the elevator. I can try sneaking past this guy, I guess. But I don't see it being successful. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Hi, Tom. Oh, okay, you gotta go. Okay, see you tonight. There's a motion detector there, and if I trip that, I don't know. Any ideas, anyone?
Whoops. Am I trapped here now? He's gonna shoot me if he sees me. Hmm. I don't think, if I use the gun, I only have 26 seconds and that's not. Okay. Well, let's see what uh, anyone's posted on here.
Okay, that solved a few problems. I think that's enough punches to the face for that guy. That's got that working. Okay, I think that's got it. Find the original obituary. Fresh from the recycling bin. I suspect we are not dealing with a clever cop. Superb. Oh wow, she was shot three times, not one. And the second two shots were point blank range. Seconds after she hit the ground. Whoever killed Selena Delgado, they dropped out of the third story window to make sure she was dead. We're either dealing with a professional operative or more than one shooter. Either way, this suggests Katie Collins is innocent. Can we release it? Yes, but not yet. I need enough to get every dirty cop in this town arrested the moment I go public with this, or I'll disappear under suspicious circumstances. And I can handle that side of it, but I'll get in touch if I find any more about our killer. Thanks, Conway.
found a suspect for the Selena Delgado murder. I need you to get into his apartment and look for a piece of evidence that might confirm it. I think I've got something. Uh, oh, that postmortem you retrieved showed that Selena was shot again, point blank, with the same weapon right after hitting the ground, which suggests our killer threw himself out of the third story window just to make sure she was dead. Well, people who throw themselves out of third story windows aren't all bad. Well, that means he had tech, but I'm guessing a drop shot trench coat, but who knows that and what else? So I tracked some shipments from TX Fabrications who make the stuff, and it turned up the address right across the street from the crime scene. Oh. Uh. Cool. I want you to check it out. Look for any evidence of what kit this guy might have, anything else suspicious. Up for it? Uh. Always. Alright, so back to the place we originally stole our, uh. <laughs> Our shoes from in the trench coat. No, we're, we're not the murderer. We were just across the street from where the murder took place. And we're hired to break into the same building. So we left lots of evidence that we were there. Yeah, these guys can't be tackled, so I don't know. Oops.
Melody knew you were here yesterday. Hope she thinks it's just business, but I hate doing this to her. I don't think she knows anything, but then I wouldn't. She's about eight times smarter than me. I guess we can't get back in there anyway. Really? There's nothing up here? All right. I guess I just could have gone through this door. Yeah. I guess I'll just give him the packaging slip, see what happens. A source I trust tipped me off to the recording of everything that happened in the Rook's office the night of Delgado's murder. It's from a second camera, one that was backed up to a secure DataSec facility without the killer knowing. I need to break into DataSec and get the recording to me. <laughs> Where was the second camera? I can't tell you that yet. Who's the source? I can't tell you that yet. Why do you believe them? I can't tell you that yet. Well, thanks for the information. Hmm. 
Well, that was easy. Okay, maybe not. I love the BD to Jason Sarah. Subject, the setup. All right, I'm lost now. Why do the East Point police want to store something on the server in particular? What is it? If it was a feed, it wouldn't be just receive the stream as usual. Might as well give it to him. <laughs> well, I'll be honest, this is a dummy file I put there. You match everything we know about Selena's Keller, so I had to test what your allegiance is lay. I apologize for the distrust, I'm sure you understand. <laughs> no, I kind of lost the plot on mission two. I just like getting paid. <laughs> Well, you were close. I did wipe the data sec footage, but I didn't kill Delgado. What? Have you been helping me investigate yourself? Well, I knew we'd never catch me. So you wiped the footage because it made you look guilty. Did you see who actually did it? No, but I suspect it was Rook's husband, or I suspect it was someone working for Intex. Uh... the recording you've been looking for. It's from a phone call in which Jackson threatens to kill Selena if she talks. It would be enough to get Katie Collins released and my husband arrested. I can't give it to the police. I didn't obtain it legally, so it's inadmissible. That's why I need you. I want you to copy it onto the police servers and leave a security hole for the press to find it there. Does that actually work? I don't know, it's never been done before, but the East Point police would probably rather claim they were sitting on vital evidence than admit they don't even know how it got there. You're okay with getting your husband arrested? 
he's gone dark. I can't believe he did it, and I don't know if he'll go down for it, but he put Collins in this situation so he can damn well take the fallout. Have you told Collins? No, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't either. She has trouble coping with the guilt if I bring her a coffee. I don't want her to know I'm risking my career for her. What does the evidence say exactly? Jackson, I mean it. If you say one word about this anywhere, you'll be dead before you leave the building. Kind of a weird way to say it. Yeah, the terminal you need to plan it on is at the first floor of the evidence warehouse on Union. I'm sending you a script that will make it vulnerable. Once it's activated, I'll tip off a journalist friend. That was a bad idea. Oh, maybe I don't want him looking that way. Lieutenant Detective David Carrillo, Carrillo, to Detective Sal Goodall. Read your theory. So I'm a jury. The defendant has no alibi, lives alone, and had access to all the security footage that was mysteriously erased for the night of the crime. And a reputable local business owner will testify that she was the last person left alone with the victim. How much do I care that she did it in a weird way? The Delgado case is an easy one, Sal, and with your case log, you need an easy close. Just take the win. That puts him on patrol. I got the lights out in there.
All right, I think I'm, I'm free to go here. Katie, I uploaded the data. Wait, what? I just got the call. They found her in a cell. The note just said she didn't want to be a burden. This is Jackson. The recording you have of me is real, but it's not the whole story. Selena and I were not. Ha uh, Selena and I were having an affair when I told her not to say anything. I was trying to protect her. From who? Intex. They blackmailed me to steal a large sum of money from Rook. I used their plan to take it, but I didn't give it to Intex. I was going to use it to blow the country with Selena. I was warning her to keep that to herself because I knew if Intex found out, they'd have her killed. If I'd known they were tapping my phone, the irony is not lost. Why didn't Intex just kill you too? They need me to steal the money from Rook. We sometimes channel money through my firm to dodge tax, so for a day or two, the money would be in my name. If I died before transferring it to Intex, the money would be go going straight back to Rook when she inherited my company. Why'd you even tell Selena? She was a smart girl. She wasn't going to run off with me without knowing where the money came from. I knew she wouldn't be wild about stealing from Rook, but we didn't have much choice. Giving it to Intex would be worse, and doing nothing that Intex would go public with the affair. Cut to the chase. I don't know how Rook got a hold of that recording, but I know why she edited it, and I know why she gave it to you. She knows about me and Selena, and she knows about the money. If I get arrested now, it defaults back to her. She's trying to frame me. So what do you want? The full recording, public online. It proves that once Rook leaked, the, uh, once Rook leaked, they were doctored, and it proves I didn't kill Selena. The terminal that recorded it logged the location of both phones at the time. I was out of town minutes before she died. That terminal is in Intex's Ops Center on Harvey Street. If you can get it, then I can just upload the full recording from there, and I'll post it as efficient jobs so I can pay you securely. Conway, it's Rook. Ignore Jackson. You don't even know what he said. Did he say the recording you have of me is real, but it's not the whole story? Yes. Intex are still bugging his phone, and I've taken over their network. I know who killed Selena. I know exactly where he is, and I know what will happen if that recording gets out. The killer will vanish forever. The only reason he hasn't disappeared already is he knows Jackson's going down for it. As soon as the cops start looking for someone else, he's gone. Can't we just get the real killer then leak the recording? You could, if you knew where he was. I could, if I wanted that recording leaked. But if Jackson gets out, I lose everything. The money he took broke our agreement, but it wasn't illegal. I can't get it back unless he's convicted. You want me to let an innocent man go down to catch a guilty one? Not the words I would use. Jackson framed Katie Collins for Selena's murder, which led directly to her death. The fact that he also cheated on me and stole most of my capital just makes me less conflicted about destroying him. Point taken. Who is it? I'm withholding that until you can secure Jackson's conviction. The terminal at Intex that Jackson wants you to upload the recording from, I need you to get to it and wipe it instead. Jackson goes down for Selena's murder, I get my company back, and you do what you like to the man who killed your client. It's an easy call. Okay. Do I reveal the tr truth or try to catch the killer? That's the question.
Adam says catch the killer. Sell it to me, Pyropus. What do I do? Alright, we're going to catch that killer. Hopefully. I don't see a way in yet, but I know there is one. Oh, they got a pro. Uh, I think there is a way to reverse your decisions, but uh, I'm not sure. Alright, it looks like the skylight's the only way in. I'm just going to land on top of this guy. Uh, this game doesn't have saves so much as it just auto-saves, but I think there is a way to... Russian from this height. I don't think so. I didn't think so. Oh, I might have been able to shock him. Oh well, too late now. Leave those doors open. There we go. Got him. Aha! That will help. What is this tied to? Alright, that opens the door. Oh! Ha! <laughs> he could see right through that door. Okay. Alright. Courtyard cameras. Alright, I got a way to take him out then. I hope that was the right plan.
Nice. Alright. That should keep me protected from him. Ah, the light switch. So their hitman should stay in that room, I think. gives me a way out. Okay. It's done. Fantastic. God, it's been a shitty few days. Thank you for ending it. Well, you could thank me by telling me who killed Selena Delgado. Selena was killed by an agent codenamed Hightower on Gessler's orders. Gessler was blackmailing Jackson to steal from me, but Jackson was planning to run off some with Selena and the money. Gessler would have killed them both, but the money was still in Jackson's name, so he took away Jackson's reason to run. I have enough evidence to put Gessler away, but he knows that now. If you don't get him and Hightower tonight, they'll both be gone by morning. I still have access to Intex's comms network. I call Hightower to Intex HQ, told him Gessler wants to meet. I strongly recommend you bring a gun, even if you don't intend to fire it. <laughs> Thanks, I'm off to commit double homicide! Good luck, Richard. Gessler, come and fucking get me! <laughs> Please excuse the language! Doors open. All 
right? Put these guys in the... Oh, that's right, they're professionals so they can see in the dark. Knock him out a window. Oops, a little too soon. Yeah, I love the dialogue options. They are funny. Alright, let's see what we got here. I think, I'm gonna guess that camera is connected to, yeah. So it's connected to an alarm. I don't think I can drop him with the trap door, it's just too far away. Hmm. Sound detector there. I have to get this orange one before I can get that green one. The purple one. It's gonna take a while to get to the top of this tower. All right, what happens if I set off this alarm? Interesting. Jack to orange. I don't think I can get through that window. It's too high up, right? give it a try. Yeah, it's too high for me to jump, even with the bullfrog trousers. Wait, maybe not. Oh, okay.
Just not enough of an impact to break the window. I can flip around here now. Okay, how did I do that? I think I just clipped through that door. That's interesting. Okay, again, that does me no good. They can see in the dark. All right. Uh, I can get that guy patrolling by doing this, right? No, apparently he doesn't care. Okay. <laughs> Still love the count of the number of times I've punched him. All right. I need to get that purple jack, but... I guess, does the blue connect to the... Yeah, so I do need to get this first. Okay. Oh, I gotta time it very carefully here, huh? Oh yeah. They can see in the dark, so that's not gonna do me good. Um Oh, maybe I can I can just use the sound detector. That's got the door open. All right. Oh, 
All right. We just shot our assassin. How do I get the door open? Oh. So he sees me coming, opens the door. Christ, that guy talked a lot. That's it. Conway's secret blog. Composed new blog post. 24 dead, 20 injured, 20 jobs, $13,000 made. The week echoed in my mind like a gunshot in an empty street. The week echoed in my mind like something that happened in the last week. Or, I've had better weeks. They don't let me name names on this blog, but the person behind the hit was in I was investigating is dead now. He played a dangerous game and he didn't have the cards. He played a dangerous game, insulting my hat. In fact, I may have killed more people than I actually avenged here. He played a dangerous game, insulting my hat. The trigger man's dead. I thought that would feel good, but there's no escaping what it cost. I thought that would feel good. It did. That would have felt good if I hadn't just taken a seven-story dive. Uh... I don't know. I think I picked the right side. Sometimes I think I picked the wrong side. I guess I picked the least <laughs> terrible of two incredibly terrible sides. Maybe that doesn't matter. Maybe all that matters is justice, revenge, or that I now have the ability to kick down doors. <laughs> Either way, I need a drink, I need to get out of this city, or I need 10 cc's of ketamine and a Colombo marathon. <laughs> Your specialties were super jumping, rewiring security, property damage, and falling over. <laughs> Richard Conway, professional spy, amateur electrician, weaponized jerk. Oh, I can tweet my blog! <laughs> Hello. Okay, can you hear me? I'm going to go ahead and set up EVO, I think, at this point. Uh, we finished the game. Uh, it, it did... It just automatically shut down the game.
So it automatically shut down the game when you finish it and went to a website where it lets you tweet what you uh, what you did in the game. All right, so I'm going to shut down the stream for a bit and set up uh, EVO.